Hi everyone. Um, today I want to talk about how to choose your mentors. So it's really difficult to choose mentors because you only have, I think, six spots. Um, there is some opportunities that were given last year to be able to win more spots. I think if you uh, sponsored Pitch Wars, you could get two extra places, but they were also giving like extra mentor um, applications out like candy. What I did last year, even though I am eight hours difference from the East Coast US, I'm sitting on the beautiful island of Mauritius, was I stalked Nikki Roberti, who was the one who I noticed was giving out extra spots. Um, that is to say, I set my alarm clock and the hours that she was awake and she would be asleep, I, I was online, I tried to be online before anyone in the US to see whether she would be giving anything out because the night before she had tweeted, oh, there'll be some extra spots going up tomorrow morning. So I was like, tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. her time. I think she had a baby, so I was very, very early awake. I looked at what was the first, um, what was the earliest time she had tweeted the day before and made sure that uh, I was up. And uh, so I won, sheesh, I don't know, I won, I won extra spots for my mentors, but still, even with, I think, six to eight choices, my cats are attacking each other, as usual. And the light is dying because it's pretty dark, but I'm going to try to squeeze one video in today. Um, uh, what were we saying? Yeah, so even with extra choices, it is still so hard. I was subbing a young adult fantasy and there were so many amazing mentors. Um, so here's a few hints of how you can try and narrow it down. Once again, your mileage may vary. These are just hints and tips that, um, I, that worked for me. So you guys do what you feel is best. Firstly, stalk the hashtag. I think I've already spoken in one of my earlier videos about how not to go crazy stalking the hashtag. I put all of the YA fantasy mentors on a specific list, which was a private list. So they didn't know they were on that list. And every day when the US was asleep, I would wake up and I would go through the whole day's worth of their tweets. I would see what they were liking, what they were saying, tried to get a bit of their character. I looked at their blogs more than just their wish lists, um, trying to see what kinds of things they liked. And they didn't just get a feel for them, especially when it's a really tight choice where both could be excellent and you really have no idea where to go. And you're like, but what if I make the wrong decision? Um, I watched all of the live feed videos. The live feed videos are excellent because it really gives you a feel for some people um, and what they're like. And you can see where some people are shyer, some people are more outgoing. Just And sometimes they say things that they don't say in their wish list and they don't say on Twitter. And you're just like, oh, okay. For instance, I think I watched a video where a lot of the mentors were like, I prefer um, lyrical, like poetic writing type thing to commercial. Uh, one particular mentor said this, and I was like, okay, well, I'm not Lainey Taylor, so clearly, you know, maybe I shouldn't pitch her. And then I asked her a few further questions on Twitter, and it turned out that I was right. She wasn't the right fit for me. But if I hadn't watched that live um, live stream video, which is stays online after, so you don't have to watch it live. It's about an hour long. I think I used to watch them whilst I was cooking, showering. Like, if I heard something interesting, I would stick my head out of the shower and be like, hmm, who said that? Um, so I got to know the mentors really well, stalker, that's me. And what else did I do? Let me look at my notes. Um, I had to pimp my bio, which we've already spoken about, so that any mentors that were super interested in me, not all of the mentors look for pimp my bios. A lot of them don't have time. They have deadlines. They have all sorts of things going on. So please, no one needs to think that they have to do a pimp my bio. I know plenty of mentors who don't even bother looking at them. Um, but some mentors saw my pimp my bio or saw me tweeting because often there's all sorts of, uh, you know, oh, novel aesthetic or what is the first line in your novel or blah, blah, blah in the feed that is mostly the mentees talking. So I would get mentors, look, here's something that I'd said through that or they'd seen my pimp my bio or I think I asked a question to the Ask Mentors. I, uh, there was a specific blog for that. I don't know if it exists this year. Um, and so I had mentors hint you know, please sort of hint, oh, this sounds great, hint, 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 send it to me. Uh, so that's why I think that my bio is a good idea. If you're stuck in a tough choice, you already know, well, these two mentors seem amazing, but this mentor specifically told me she's excited to see my book. So I sort of want to give it to the person who's slightly more excited, you know, having to make a decision one way or another. Um, you can ask questions on Twitter. Do not be afraid to ask questions. You There's a rule that says you can't pitch people. So what I did was I, I wrote... I wrote, I tweeted mentors who I was considering and I just asked them straight. My book was um, a reimagining, a retelling of Les Miserables and a retelling of The Jungle Book at the same time. It's a fantasy. 
um, and it's an alternate history, there's no magic in it. And so instead of pitching a mentor and saying, hey, do you want to see an alternate history fancy, blah, 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 I said, do you like musicals? As in, and I, do you like musicals as in Les Miserables and Hamilton? So it wasn't saying, my book is in Les Miserables retelling. And of course, Les Mis fans are rabid. So they were like, Either they were like, mm, or never seen it, or they were like, oh my goodness, give me Le Mis, what is this? And then they went and looked at my, at my bio, blah, 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 and they showed me they were interested. Or I think I had said, um, are you interested in classics like The Jungle Book? And and I had like some other examples. Um, I think the, the musicals one was the main one that I was able to um, gauge interest. Uh, and then... So yeah, so don't be afraid to ask questions. My mentors from last year actually were not that active online. They were online a bit, but they didn't make videos. They didn't jump into the feeds. They weren't looking what everyone was saying. Um, so if I was just going on, I think, I think Rosalind was on a one of the live chat videos, and she actually said, I prefer lyrical writing to commercial. And then, bless her heart, thank goodness for me, she added, although if I got, if I got a sound that was lyrical and highly commercial, like we would totally take the highly commercial, you know, the, the mix between the two. So, um, I remember when she had said, I like lyrical as well, my heart just dropped and I was like, Oh no, she won't like my book. Um, so what I was saying is that my mentors were not the most present on Twitter and all the rest of it. But when I reached out to them with my questions, I tweeted them directly, um, and looked in, onto their websites and that sort of thing. I, I got to know them a little better and I realized what a good fit I would be for them as well as for a couple of other mentors. Um, so don't be afraid to ask questions. That's what mentors are here for, to answer questions right now. And then err on the side of taking a chance. If you're not sure, there is no problem in giving someone a shot. All the mentors are there to encourage and they're super excited to get your to get your submission. And if you're really, really not sure, ask around in the Facebook group, get some advice from other people. Um, but the one thing, my biggest piece of advice about choosing mentors is do not be afraid and do not be intimidated. My big fear last year was that Rosalind and Erin, amongst others, seemed so, because maybe they were less uh, uh, present on Twitter, they seemed, and they had these book covers out, but their books weren't out yet, and the covers were amazing, and they ha they shared this amazing agent, Josh Adams, who, by the way, is my agent now, just saying, but... Um, I was so intimidated. I was like, there's no ways that I could, that, that they would pick me because look how shiny and professional there are and their covers, which is so strange. Now that I'm on the other side of the fence, I'm like, why would their cover mean that they're unattainable? It's just, never mind. It's just nonsense that goes through our head all the time. Um, don't be afraid. And my mentor, Rosalind, told me that she actually was, it was the same as me and was almost, I don't know if she, I think she was almost intimidated into not pitching another mentor because similar reasons they seem so fancy but you've got to remember that mentors are not that far off from where you are today we i was in exactly the same position as you last year there is no difference except that i've signed with an agent that doesn't make a huge amount of difference between me and any of you mentees so don't be intimidated don't be scared if you have a dream mentor and they align with you know, what your book is and their wish lists and you think, you know, I would love to be able to work with them. Go for it. Take a chance. Don't be afraid. And I know a lot of the mentors. I don't know them all personally, but I'm in the mentor group and I see them interacting with each other. And they are all really, really, really nice, except for Mike Mammy, who's really, really scary. But anyway, guys, 